Our climate is suddenly reaching a state from which it cannot recover. As global warming becomes more of a serious issue in the eyes of humanity, more and more scientists have begun to contribute to finding a solution to this problem. However, in the 19th century, global warming and the impact of greenhouse gases on our climate was not as heavily regarded. An unsung scientific hero of particular notice in this case can be identified as Eunice Foote. Eunice Newton Foote was an American scientist, an inventor and a woman's right campaigner who lived from 1819 to 1888. Her husband, Alicia Foote, became a judge after specialising in patent law and helped her with her discoveries. Eunice Foote was the first to ever predict the impact of greenhouse gases on the climate in her scientific paper titled Circumstances Affecting the Heat of the Sun's Rays. Foote tested the effects of sunlight on various air and gas samples in two different glass cylinders. The warming effect of the air, or greenhouse effect, was actually described in 1770 by a Swiss scientist, but Foote expanded on that. She compared the temperature increase in different test tubes. She tested the effects on moist and dry air mixed with carbon dioxide, hydrogen and oxygen. She noticed that the highest effect of the sun's rays I have found to be in carbonic acid gas. An atmosphere of that gas would give to our earth a high temperature and, if as some suppose, at one period of its history, the air had mixed with it a larger proportion than at present, an increased temperature from its own action, as well as from increased weight, must have necessarily resulted. Foote was not allowed to present her findings to the American Association for the Advancements of Science because she was a woman. Instead, her paper was read to the meeting by Joseph Henry, another famous American scientist. It was the only paper presented by a woman in the first 10 years of these meetings. This paper was published three years before John Tyndall's discovery on climate change using an elaborate machine to carry out similar experiments. His work is today considered the foundation of modern climate science.